um, welcome back to Jezel Kisses TV. Today we're going to do a review of a product, but it's not a skincare product or a makeup, makeup product. It's the portable sewing machine that I bought last month of May. I included it in one in my one week haul. I'll be putting the link below or you can just browse on my, my videos and you will definitely see that it's one week haul. And it has Shy Shop, I think. Yeah, but... Yes, today I'm going to do a review about the portable sewing machine. I've actually received a lot of questions on how to use it or is it really worth it. Though it's really affordable, but of course, if you want to buy something, you want something that will be worth your money. And yeah, I have a reader though that really messaged me if I can really do a review about it. And I promised her that I'll be doing a review about it today. So I just got back home and this is the first thing that I you know schedule that I should be doing and it's Christian Cuavas thank you so much for the request so I'll show you the sewing machine again I've actually ha have sh um, shown this I'll show you the box it's actually a Sinbo portable sewing machine but I don't know why the language is different I don't know what what kind of language is this but if you're going to to, to the link that I'll be linking in the description box so that you can just click it and just see the product there where, where I bought it. I actually bought it from Shy Shop. Thank you so much from Shira. Uh, for only 500 pesos, it's really affordable. What are the things included in the box? Of course, the portable sewing machine. It looks like this. It's very small and it's really portable. That's why if you watch the video, if you search on YouTube, you can actually see a lot of videos where they just put this inside their tote bag because it's really um for uh portable and it's not heavy so aside from this one it also comes with an adapter another great thing about this sewing machine is that you can also operate it using uh for yeah you can just use four double a size of batteries it also comes with a foot pedal this is the foot pedal that you can use so you can um, either press directly from the sewing machine or you can use this but most of the time I just use this because it's more comfortable for me and aside from that it also comes with four bobby, bobby pins I think yeah that's how you call this for bobby pins it comes in red blue with red already um red blue black and white and it also comes with a um extra sewing machine needle that looks like this so these are the things that basically comes the things that come inside the box so that's why i really love it because you can use it either just batteries or electric electricity and you can also use it with a foot pedal or just press it there so i'm going to show you the different parts of this sewing machine and i'll also be doing a demo so you can see how it works so i'm going to show you the parts of this sewing machine even though i'm not an expert with this and i don't memorize what you really call them so i'm just going to show you what i really know about it so first we're go f on this part this is where you insert the foot pedal and this is where you will um plug the adapter so yeah and then this is the um, power button you put this when you press this on the machine will run or you can use the foot pedal and um, you can leave it like that and whenever you um, press on the foot pedal it will actually um, run the sewing machine of course and yeah this is the high and low if you want it to if you want fast then you leave it at like this but if you want it to be a bit slower then you just have to press this button and this is the where you will put the bobbin thread i think it's bobbin thread it's not bobby pin so i'm still figuring out how to remove and replace this part 
I'll let you know and update this video whenever I have figured that out. Or if you know, please do comment below this video so that everyone will benefit from your comment. And I think this is the tension something, <laughs> sorry. Um, you have to tighten this or you can lose it so that the thread will smoothly go through to here. And what else? I don't know how you call what you call this one. And of course, this is it actually goes up and down like that whenever the machine is running. And this is where you will. I think this is um, spooly something. <laughs> Sorry again. But yeah, this is where you'll put, you know, the normal thread that we have. And this is where you will put the bobbin actually you can open it here you just press it okay and you can replace there if you want to also see how to um, get the thread from here I can also show you that just give this video a like so that I know that I'm going to do a separate video on that and yeah, this is the presser foot. I hope I'm right. And yeah, this is where you put in the thread. And what else do I need to explain? Okay, this is where you put the batteries. So I think we're good to go. I'll be showing you how this works. what are things that you that you really need to know before you purchase this product i have negative um thoughts about this too first is it doesn't have 
different styles of stitches because if you want if you will buy those really expensive portable sewing machines they have choices of what types of stitches you want you want a zigzag or you want it like a curly one I don't know if you have I think you have it and I actually saw one from Ace Hardware it ranges from four it started at four thousand so yeah it's a bit expensive compared to this one another thing that I don't like about it it doesn't have a reverse function wherein it's very easy for you to start and to lock in the thread to the to the cloth but you ha really ha just have to be creative in how you want it locked because if it has a reverse function you just have to of course run the the cloth like that and then you just press the reverse function and then it will go reverse of course and then just press it again and then you, you're good to go but since it doesn't have that kind of function uh, what I do is I I started from the very very first work for the very first line of the cloth and then I run through it and then after I'm done with it I close both sides of the cloth I just do it by hand but that's that's not a big problem about me because I usually just do that whenever I have crafts to do I just before I I really just sew them with my bare hands but it is really helpful for beginners if you want to learn how to sew using a sewing machine it's really good practice and it's also good if you're running out of time and you want to alter your clothes or you want to make your own clothes you can definitely make your own clothes using this one you can really make a lot of things with this portable sewing machine so what are things that I really like I really like to share with you is how to um, fill in or to wind your bobbin thread you see for like for this from this pulley and then you want it to transfer here but you can definitely just use this pulley and then just you know insert it here and you're good to go but if you want to use the bobbin thread um, then you have to use this function this is actually um, you can actually pull this out and just insert there if you want to use and to rewind your bobbin thread another thing that I also want to share is how to pull up pull out the thread from the bobbin winder because once you change this you have to insert the thread on the hole here but I I'd rather that just show it to you in a different video so that this video won't take too long because I know that it's a bit long already so it might bore you I hope it doesn't so that's it if you want me to do those two tutorials or if you want any other requests just comment below and let me know what are the videos that you want me to do and please do like this video if, it, if you find this really helpful don't forget to visit my blog gentlekisses.com and you can also don't forget to subscribe of course and i'll see you on my next video bye thank you for watching